Like, share, and subscribe for more great Angry Guy content. And turn on notifications. Never miss another Angry Guy video ever again. Guys, uh, today we're discussing why you should drop it more and MGTOW. Drop, uh, drop it more and MGTOW. Instead, go MWA. MWA is men walking away. And men, wa men walking away is men walking away from Western society and Western women. And it's very, very important that you understand what these things are. A lot of men right now, you know, I was, I helped found, I'm one of the founders of MGTOW on YouTube. I helped establish that community. I was, I was one of the first. And I'm telling you right now, when you look at what MGTOW is, what it's become, MGTOW was originally men going their own way, men choosing not to marry, not to have children, but instead focus on themselves and their own happiness, also known as MGTOW 2.0. But then MGTOW moved into MGTOW 3.0, which is men that are separating themselves socially, financially, economically from women in the state. It sounds similar to, to men walking away, but it absolutely isn't. Because men, MGTOW is a male separatist movement. It is a male separatist movement. It is men who want to have nothing to do with women whatsoever. Okay? It is a, it, they, it's essentially advocating for society where men and women are separated. Men walking away are not looking for such a thing. Men, look, or men walking away are basically just saying, we look at the start structure of Western society today, and we're either and we're basically walking away from Western society and what has and what has become Western norms. If we want a wife, we'll go overseas and get one. Otherwise, we're going to not work or work just as much as we have to to provide for ourselves and to live happy lives. But we're not going to focus on making anything really serious, making any any meaningful contributions to Western society because Western society is not for us. Western society has become a cesspool, a cesspit. But it doesn't mean that they are terrible, that all women are bad. Unfortunately, that's the belief in MGTOW now. You know, MGTOW, the saying in MGTOW is basically all women are like that. And there's no such thing as in the Walt. Not all women are like that. <laughs> all women are like that. Now, get, don't get me wrong. There's such a thing as female nature and female behavior. And you can go, and no matter where you go, you can get screwed over. But the probability of you finding someone who's a decent woman is much greater in somewhere like the Philippines. You have to be mindful, okay? You have to understand that not all cultures are the same. Not all women are the same. And unfortunately, men have been so damaged and so hurt and so ostracized. A lot of men have turned, turned to MGTOW originally, and MGTOW went, it went from a move. It went from a, a philosophy. It was never a movement. It went from a philosophy that was about focusing on oneself and one's own happiness and self develop self development, and it became about gender separatism. It became a gender separatist movement, and no one. It's unbelievable because there are so many guys who are part of MGTOW, and they know that MGTOW is just a philosophy. It wasn't just a philosophy, and they allowed it to become this, this, this movement. And a lot of it was because of money, because there was a lot of money flowing around MGTOW. There still is. And a lot of these content creators, they sold out the philosophy to cater to men who hate women, men who are filled with hatred. And a lot of the original monks, because you have these guys running around right now calling themselves monks, they would say, do not hate women. Do not hate all right, you know what's, what's you know what's more severe than hatred, indifference. Develop indifference. When you don't, when you have indifference, you don't care if something lives or it dies. You don't care about it whatsoever. You basically just mind your business and you keep on going. And that's what you were taught. That's what the monks told men to develop indifference. Just become indifferent, but do not become filled with hatred. But these men, they became filled with hate. They became filled with hate, and it, and it got to the point where, you know, for example, if you go to a store and the only person in the store, the only cashier in the store is a woman, and there's no self checkout, leave the store. You know, if you're crossing the street, if you're walking down the street and a woman is coming in the opposite direction, cross the street. You know, like I mean, it's 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 some it's real excessive. It's basically avoid women at all possible cost. 
avoid them at all possible cost. This is a terrible way of living. You can't even have a normal conversation with a woman. Like, I mean, are you out of your minds? And this is what MGTOW developed into. Unfortunately, it didn't just stop there with MGTOW. Then the black guys came along and said that they were not feeling represented in MGTOW. Okay? And they came up with their own thing called Ibmore. Ibmore is basically black MGTOW. But my, oh my, this shit is absolutely insane. <clears throat> so let's have a look at Ibmore. And Ibmore is actually over on the incel wiki, incels.wiki. This is crazy. Ibmore stands for Introspective Black Men of Reform, are black men who are dedicated to self-study and self-improvement with the goal of eventually removal of eventual removal of both white supremacy and black matriarchy in the black community. What? They believe in the necessity of a black patriarchy. These guys are crazy. Inmor is an incel community as they do self-identify as incels that are politically orientated. They are related to the MGTOW movement. Jesus Christ. Inmor tenants. We believe in heterosexual black male leadership. We understand that women are only here for sex and reproduction. Females should never be given authority in society or over men in any way. Men should never cater to women in any way. We believe in the brotherhood of black men who recognize the problems with wh of white supremacy and matriarchy. Through this brotherhood, we will, we will eventually secure land, declare a nation, and build a technologically advanced military to defend that nation. Guys, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is... Guys, these people are crazy. These motherfuckers are crazy. They're crazy. <clears throat> we believe in strengthening ourselves mentally, physically, and financially. This requires that we increase our knowledge, maintain regular exercise, consume mostly organic foods, and avoid any addictive man-made or natural substances. We also believe in turning paper money into tangible resources, gold, silver, diamond. We do not believe in marriage within the current gynocentric system of white supremacy. Okay, so you're blaming white people for your for, for for the current state of society. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm kinda lightheaded. We know that the that the illusion of submission is the best that a woman can offer a man on this gynocentric system of white supremacy. Okay, so they basically hate white people. A woman is only truly submissive when society doesn't give her a choice. It's just so. We believe that homosexuality and lesbianism represent the death of a people because no children are produced out of such unions. We do not believe in arguing and with females. Women feel the world. They don't think the world. So you cannot change a female's mind by way of entreaties or logical argumentation. The only action that will change a female's mind is force. <laughs> oh, shit. These guys are bad. Denying a woman your attention is the most effective way to deal with females in the current system of white supremacy. So they're blaming white people for all of their problems. Jesus, God, guys, this is madness. <clears throat> and then number eight, as far as interracial interracial relationships are concerned, you can have sex with women of another race. After you become Ibmore, you can no longer reproduce with women of another race. Doing so weakens our genetic code. Oh my gosh, guys, this is black supremacy. This is black supremacy. I would like someone in the comments to tell me why this is not black supremacy. This is so, 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 so black supremacy. I mean, if 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 white people if white people said something like this, everybody would be up in arms. Like this thing is a black supremacist movement, establishing in your own land, defending it with weapons. Like what the fuck? Don't reproduce with any other races. It weakens the genetic code. These people have lost their fucking minds. All right, and the MGTOWs, of course, have lost it. The MGTOWs lost their minds a while ago. You know, this is again this is definition of MGTOW. Men going their own way. It's a vol cell. Vol cell is some a vol cell is someone who is voluntarily celibate. Being a vol cell means you choose via volition to live a romanceless, dateless, and sexless lifestyle. It is the opposite and antonym of the word incel. Men are pretty much never vol cells unless they are they are have it, they have a very low sex drive. Okay. 
All right, so it's a so Big Town is a Valsa movement consisting of a collection of forums dedicated to male separatism, anti feminism, and anti gynocentrism. Okay, so these guys are male separatists, they are male separatists. It is believed that most that MGTOW, that most MGTOWs are coping males are coping celibates, especially those in monk mode. <laughs> oh my gosh. Beside promoting Valseldom, more Astor adherents of monk mode, MGTOWs also promote the avoidance avoidance of free mixing general generally. What is free mixing? The free mix is to socialize and mingle with a member of the opposite sex. Guys, these are fucking male separatists. You should not socialize and you should not mingle with women. Increasingly, Western men and even men across the globe are shying away from free mixing with women due to the uneven even power distribution in the court of law that favors women. Avoidance of free mixing can be a useful defense. Free mixing, guys, that's a new one. That's a new one. I've been out of the lingo for a little bit. All right? So, guys, you must avoid women at all costs. You must not socialize with them. You must not mingle with them. This is absolutely insane. And you must, and this is something should, that should be done worldwide. Like I said, men walking away are men walking away from Western society and Western women. MGTOWs are male separatists. They want to separate themselves. They want them. They want to separate themselves and other men to separate themselves from women worldwide. All right, do not free mix, guys. Free mix. This this is this is something that sounds. It, this sounds like race mixing. Like remember, like don't race mix. And then the immors. This is exactly what the immors literally said. They basically said when you become an immor, you will not. You no longer race mix because you don't want to. You don't want to damage your. Um, Dilute your genetic code. These guys, these guys are all. These guys are terrible. These guys are racist, and some and se and separatist. These guys are terrible. These guys are really, really bad. Like I can't believe that things have gotten this bad. Guys, you should join men walking away. Men walking away are basically men walking away from Western society and Western women. They're choosing to focus. They're choosing to basically either stop working or working as little as possible to support themselves in Western society. They're disengaging from Western society and they're choosing to, to not have relationships with women in Western society. If they want a wife, they go overseas. They, if they're in America, they can choose to make money if they want to. Although many, a lot of guys are choosing just to do the bare minimum. Every man, when you're a man walking away, are basically choosing to live life the way they choose to and they're not allowing Western society to control them anymore. That's really it. And you can't tell one man how to walk away. Every man walks away the way he chooses to walk away. But it is absolutely a movement. Uh, let me see here. Let's see here. Despite claims the big time is dying as a movement, it remains the most popular manosphere content format on YouTube. Okay. I mean, guys, these guys, listen, you want to stay far away from this crap. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you right now. Let me know what you think about this video. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.